My name is Stacy Griggs. I'm CEO of El Toro, and today we're going to do a, a version of the Wired Autocomplete interview. What are El Toro's clients most focus on heading into 2023? I would say that with a recession looming, with marketing budgets starting to be constrained, our clients are most focused on how to optimize their marketing spend and how to measure return on investment or return on ad spend heading into 2023. When budgets become tight, obviously you need to make sure every dollar counts and El Toro is really good at that. What is the projected trend line for OTT, over the top. So over the top is uh, advertising on top of connected TV and streaming TV, uh, things like Roku, Hulu, Crunchyroll. And uh, we've seen uh, OTT video for El Toro more than 4X from 2021 to 2022. And we expect to continue to see OTT to be our fastest growing media type in 2023. Uh, really, if you think about TV over time, most TV historically until the last couple of years has been targeted via broadcast and we offer people the ability to narrowcast using El Toro's audiences of who is in market for which products at one time or onboarding someone's CRM or a voter file or a list of prospects and just target those people. So you go from broadcast to narrowcast which is inc increases the efficiency of your message delivered usually about 20 times. What should clients well, they make these things hard. Expect from El Toro this year. Uh, I would say fantastic execution. When you give us a segment or a campaign to target, unlike um, you know s s other folks in the onboarding space, um, which might take five to seven business days to create a segment, we often uh, will have that segment created within five to fifteen minutes. Uh, you're also going to see measurability and accountability, whereas most media platforms measure things like clicks, click-through rate, cost per click. We're very focused on working with our clients to measure return on ad spend and return on investment. So we want to make sure that every dollar you spend with us amplifies itself and uh, ends up on your P&L. So uh, how can El Toro stretch mine? And maybe I shouldn't t uh, take that off because this could be wildly appropriate. Oh, company's advertising budget. Um, Thank goodness Bree from Marketing wrote this and not some of our other folks. But uh, when you look at stretching your advertising budget, um, you know, there's really two ways to do it. One is, um, you know, well, or actually a lot of people are cutting advertising budgets. But when you think about, you know, if you've got less advertising dollars to spend, what we can do is we can take those advertising dollars and make them more effective by hyper-targeting and accurately targeting and then accurately measuring how those people convert through the process, that's how we end up uh, taking your advertising budget and stretching it out. Should I be concerned about any of a number of things? Let me really cool that one down. Uh, marketing, uh, marketing strategy entirely relied on cookie-based targeting. Well, yes, um, as most of our clients and people in the industry know, cookies are rapidly being deprecated by third parties like Google and Apple. And uh, companies like LiveRamp are now working on their quote-unquote post-cookie solution. Uh, El Toro has been cookie-free for a decade. We uh, really started and have always been cookie-free. Is El Toro prepared for the apocalypse? No. Nope. Is El Toro prepared for this year's privacy legislation? Um, so, um, you know, privacy legislation is kind of a hodgepodge in the U.S. today. We, um, we sincerely hope that the federal government uh, comes in with some sort of overriding privacy legislation. But starting with California with the CCPA and the CPRA, uh, then going into Virginia this year, uh, we've got a fantastic legal and compliance team that have worked to make sure that we are both compliant with things that are in place now, but also forward compliant with um, things as uh, we're in this rapidly evolving compliance landscape. What do clients continue to run, uh, or why do clients continue to run with the bulls year after year? Well, at El Toro, we bull theme just about everything. Uh, so uh, we call our, uh, our, our internship running the bulls. We did a little go out and visit the customer thing uh, that we called Summer Stampede uh, a few years ago. Um, but um, you know, we think that uh, customers stick with us year after year after year because we provide substantially above average results 
and they're measurable, they're provable. It's not just provable on a, uh, a report that you get in marketing, it's also provable in your financials. And we often partner with not only marketing teams, but also the financial teams at the companies we work with to go through and validate and vet the results and show that our performance from a return on investment, return on ad spend is superior to anything that they're getting from any other customer, uh, any other sort of ad tech platform. We're continuing to face this evolution in digital advertising where more and more dollars are coming toward the digital ad ecosystem. And those dollars in, are coming from things like print and circulars and newspaper and radio and broadcast television because digital is really the most effective way to provide and measure a digital adver or an advertising message. And at El Toro, we provide the most accurate and the most measurable digital advertising messages. We're proud that we continue to provide exceedingly high ROI or ROAS for our clients. And we think that this is the kind of year where clients are gonna need those types of things when they've got re you know, recessionary pressures and a desire to reduce or cut cost or, at a, or increase results. We see an increasing number of clients coming to us with those types of questions and we're glad that we're able to help them.